just like a normal rifle. Okay. Whoa. A little low, eh? Yeah. yeah. Way low. You you also, you don't, you went, you pulled a little bit like you were expecting a kick. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Hence why we're practicing. What the hell are you going to do with that if a rhino chases you? <laughs> Arguably, one of the most dangerous hunts in all of South Africa is the black rhino vita darting. In short, this process helped keep rhino numbers strong. By funding and helping in the inoculation process, landowners can support a growing number of rhinos. This process is extremely dangerous for the participants involved and is designed to ensure long-term healthy numbers of black and white rhinos in South Africa. After searching for most of the morning and having no luck finding a rhino, we got word that on another piece of property, one of the staff members had seen one walk into some thick bush. So we hurry over there we get on his track, we find some fresh sign, and Peter sees him in the bush. So when the demeanor and the facial expression on your professional hunter changes, you know it's getting really, really serious. The rhino that Peter had spotted laid down, and Peter turned and looked at us and says, nobody make a sound. We slip up through this little tiny ravine and get settled. Peter energizes the dart gun, hands it to Bob, and he says, you got one shot, you got to slip it through the brush. Supposed to be recording. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that one again. <laughs> Within a minute or two of the dart hitting the rhino, John, Peter on. is on the phone with his brother Stephen, the helicopter pilot, and the vet. They put the helicopter in the air, they locate the rhino, and they administer the tranquilizer. Feeling woozy and a little heavy headed, Peter and his trackers take a rope over, get behind the rhino to trip him up and get him to sit still where they cover his eyes and make sure he's comfortable.
taking photographs with this animal is done out of respect for this animal. It is a very expensive, very dangerous process. This animal is comfortable and well taken care of. With less than two minutes of photography, this animal is already being inoculated. He is getting a big boost of vitamins and antibiotics to help compensate for whatever he's not getting in normal feed. The landowner and the vet take rough dimensions, age, overall health, everything that you would do when you're dealing with an animal like this. All of his wounds or any of his injuries are tended to. They get like a spray iodine to make sure everything's okay. And within five minutes, we are putting the antidote in the big vein in his ear. And this rhino is up on his feet, already ready to start feeding with a big boost of antibiotics to keep him healthy for a long, long time. We're gonna wake him up, guys. Um, let's get on the truck. There are some real heroes when it comes to animal conservation, but a lot of people just don't want to recognize it. If you dig in and find the facts, you'll see that game numbers continue to grow on private land because of management practices that focus on the overall health of all animals. Heading back to the lodge after a safe, successful hunt, we were greeted with this. I don't even want to say another word. This is just a great representation of what Tam Safari has to offer.
great having you back. And uh, yeah, congratulations on you know, two of the big five. It's, it's been a fun yeah. trip. Uh, we still got a few animals left, and um, hopefully yeah. we can finish off in style. But congratulations on a magnificent yeah. buffalo and a very oh, exciting yeah. um, black rhino hunt this morning. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I hope, um, hope this is the, the first two of many, but wow. um, just something small there for you from all of us. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. Buffalo Bob. Man, good night. I can't believe. Oh, and my picture on it. Look at that. That is awesome. Oh, wow. That is really. I think it's Yeah, great having all of you at this. It's been an awesome experience. We'll be back. When people ask, what did you think of Africa? There's just not enough words. I want to sit them down and say, hey, you got an extra two hours? Watch this film. You tell me how Africa was. <laughs>